Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Steam Next Fest 2022. I remembered it. Uh, where today, we're playing the demo of Lorne's Lure. This is another one that I've been looking forward to for a bit, and I've had a, I've, I've spent a little time with this demo, and it's really, really doing all of the things I was hoping it was going to do. Uh, I don't know that this one's necessarily going to be for everybody, but I find it extremely compelling. So, without further ado, let's jump in here. Uh, restart. Start at the beginning. I first saw it while wandering the outskirts of my home colony. I followed it down into an abyss. Then it disappeared. been lost down here for 253 years. In a place I'm not supposed to be. I need to find the ghost again before my energy core expires. all I have left. There is no going back. So I think this game is pretty spooky, but it's definitely not like jump scare spooky, uh, unless you find physics situations to be uh, particularly scary. Alright, pretty standard controls, you know, just run around. You move very fast, like it's Quake. And we're just in this place. Dropping is safe as long as the floor isn't too far. You know, dropping's fine until it's not fine. Uh, but there's just something about the amount that you do stuff like this, where you just, you drop down and there is no way back. Like, the you know, like they say in the uh, in the narration. There is no return. We're we're stuck with the decisions we've made. And there's something like existentially really scary, especially once you once you see the spaces. Uh, and we have a quick restart. Whenever I hit hit T, it's basically going to just put us back in the last safe place we were standing. Uh, which is gonna be necessary, because, you know, so... <clears throat> that seemed narratively appropriate. It is not intentional. <laughs> if you're not right up against the wall, this surface is uh, remarkably slippery. So you're fast, and you can jump pretty far. And in a moment here, we're gonna get another tool to make all this climbing around even easier. But... Even so, it's a little, it could be a little harrowing, just the moving around. And as far as I've seen so far, the moving around is all there is, but I think there's a lot to it. So we will slide on steeply angled surfaces, which we can use to, you know, set up a nice jump. Like, for example, that jump right there. Okay, yep, that definitely went as well as I was thinking it was going to go. Okay, we can walk instead of run, you know, in case you're feeling cowardly, which I am. And hey, look, it's a blue crystal. You may have noticed it. Optional collectibles, you know, quote unquote optional. Once you collect all of them, you unlock a special challenge called a simulation. And 
who doesn't love a good simulation? So I was not able to get this the first time, my first time through here, because I dropped down onto that platform, and I think once you're down there, it seems very difficult. But I wonder, I wonder if I could make this jump. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't be easy. I'm fairly sure that you cannot jump from that pipe over to the ledge. And obviously, this huge uh, cable or whatever it is is very awkwardly placed, but I'm going to give it a shot here. Oh, very nearly, very nearly. I think that might be doable. All right, full speed run down the pipe. Let's do this. I, okay, I am I am increasingly certain that that can be done. Whether or not I will actually be able to pull it off, I suppose is another matter, but I think it could be pulled off by someone who is good. I'm gonna give this three more tries. That's, that's what we're gonna, and then I'm gonna move on. So y'all don't have to watch me just jump in a pit over and over again and hear the wonderful noise of my robot body being destroyed by physics. Oh, I hit the ledge. I'm just gonna restart because that's gonna be real ugly. I hit the edge of it and bounced off. Cruel. But it does seem like maybe trying to do this as a straight jump is not the way. Yeah, there we go. You have a considerable amount of air control, so. There we are. I really think that's the only way to do it, because you can see that pipe is almost exactly the same height as the ledge there, but the distance between them is not even close to traversable, I think. Okay, so you can see we have a, a, a distance readout on our HUD here. Uh, it's also showing us a symbol when we look at nearby surfaces, and you will get to see what the, what the symbols mean in a moment here, presently. Is there a... No, is that really the intent? All right, I can do that. Okay. I have already played this beginning area, but uh, in my defense, it was yesterday. And how's the person supposed to remember a thing for an entire day? That feels impossible to me. Okay. You can scan things with the left mouse button. Reticle will turn yellow to indicate the object is scannable. You know, like this. A safety hut. These are used by explorers that travel into the megastructure. They are built for extreme longevity, but this one is showing signs of wear and tear. Material analysis suggests it was built 534 years ago. Exit log, colony 8615. Forgot some equipment in the last base camp. I'm going back to get it. Ida, if you're reaching, if you're reading this and you've come back with Cass, I've left some food for you inside. I may need to synthesize more soon. There is no way to open this door. It's locked by a cryptographic key. I hope the owner remembers their password. All right, I'm pretty sure that there's nothing of value. Yeah. Actually, it will let me scan this. A small wind t a turbine power generator. It must be using the strong draft in here to power the electronics in and around the hut. Well, I guess that answers the obvious question of how is this stuff still on. So I'm fairly sure that way's forward, but I also think it looks like you could probably drop down over here. Eh, maybe not. Let's see. Nope. I think that is just outside survivability. <clears throat> is there a way to approach it? It's like, it's so close. It's so close that it feels like it must be, there must be a way. And just pressing against the wall while I do it doesn't slow me down or anything, right? No, I don't. I don't get to drag on the wall. Uh, the pipe is slightly inclined and I might be able to like catch myself on it maybe but it looks like the f from where I would actually fall off of it is about the same height yeah all right I think the only way is this way there's something just very unsettling about the construction of these spaces I would not do well in this this like tight hallway situation in real life Okay, this I remember. 
I would I would be so afraid that the walls were gonna move or something and uh, okay that looks like I could fall onto it oh so does that this looks safe all right this one is sloped so we're gonna have to be Oh, okay. It's not it's not so sloped though. I guess I should be looking around a little bit more carefully because there could be um what do you call it? There could be collectibles. Uh oh that looks Yeah. That looks like it'll catch me. Ow. Okay, I've fully lost control of my momentum here. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, here we go. A thing of some import. The dead observer's climbing equipment. Uh, this right here would be our dead observer. An observer that has fallen to their death many years ago. Observers are explorers that leave their home colony to document what is outside. They return at a rate of approximately 0.23%. Are the one and the ones that do often have important findings. This one is from a foreign colony of unknown origin. There's a strange mass of mold growing through their suit. Can I cra no there's no crouch. So we can't get any closer to examine this more. But, you know, I I think we get it. That's a pretty good skeleton, I guess. All right. So, now we have our climbing hooks. Uh, there's probably a real name for these in rock climbing or whatever. I do not know what it is. You can use these to move around on walls. Just jump into it, and left mouse, then climb around on the wall with WASD. Once you get to a ledge, keep moving forward and pull yourself up. Okay, so climb to the tutorial points to learn more. You know, just up there. But first... Collectibles! Boy, they make that sound very aggressive. Okay. So you can see we have our little stamina meter there, just above our distance indicator. And when looking at a surface, I think one of these tutorial points is going to tell us. Um, yep, stamina bar. Once it depletes, you will automatically fall off the wall. Make sure you plan out a path before climbing too far. Uh, I have found that it's relatively forgiving. There are a lot of ways to get a little bit of stamina back hitting slope surfaces and stuff there there are places where you can cheat it for sure uh, you can jump off of a wall hold just aim in the direction you want to jump and press space if you aim above your waist you will leap off in that direction if you look below your waist you will absolutely just fall off the wall when you press space so that's a thing to be concerned about so I don't think I noticed this before, but it sure looks like you're supposed to use that to climb up there. I wonder if there's something... This is where they want us to go, but let's have a look over here. Ah. Is there something of value? There is not, actually. Huh. Okay, weird. I don't know what the point of this little ledge here is, then. And also, you can see the stamina recovers very, very quickly. All right, so let's use this jumping technique. All right, that was a little closer than I would have liked. I could, I could definitely have gotten up higher before <laughs> executing that jump. All right, uh, weird. Not everything is climbable. When you hover your reticle over a material, if you get the little red X, it's not climbable. If you get the two up arrows, it is. Like that. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to the point at which I stopped here. You can shimmy around corners, too. That's almost how that's spelled. So... I do know if there's a series of platforms up there. In a moment, the game's going to teach us the control for... Oops, that was the wrong... The game's going to teach us the control for zooming, which is this button, not the reset button, which is what I just pressed. 
Um, but I don't actually know where to go from here. It's, it's this way, presumably. Let's, let's climb over here. It's going to tell us about the zoom, and then we'll be just about caught up with where I stopped. Why, why am I not able to move left anymore? Okay. If you miss a jump, just keep moving forward, and you may grab the ledge and save yourself. Oh, the tutorial point preserves your momentum a little bit. Very scary. Yep, hold Q to zoom. You know, in case you want to look at something in the distance and creep yourself out trying to figure out if you're seeing a sh uh, like a humanoid shape or not. Okay, so I don't think I, I hit that tutorial point. I got distracted by the platforms over there and went and climbed those instead, uh, which is not the way forward, it turns out. I can't really get myself directly over this, which is making me a little, ooh, a little nervous. But yeah, just like, there's something really... Oh, hi. Interesting. There's something really, really unsettling to me about the vastness of these spaces. And there's sort of like the simultaneous obvious humanness of the concrete construction and what look like cables or exhausts or something. Um, and the obvious inhumanness of, you know, the arrangement of it. Why would someone build a thing like this? Why would someone build a thing this big? Hit H to toggle waypoint hints. Look around to spot it and wait, make your way there. Okay. Entirely optional. Use them if you are very lost. That's interesting. So... That's a different thing than I was seeing before, right? The one we were seeing before was up here. Hold on. I'm going to go back around the wall. There are some collectibles very high up. Oh, actually, there's another one over there. Hmm. All right, well. Let's find out, shall we? So we can start climbing from a little bit higher if we make our way back to this. Am I actually, am I gonna be able to do that? A little bit scary, I guess. All right, so this is the highest point that we can start the climb from. There's a bracket right there. I think I can make that. Actually, that's lower. Let's see if we can stop on this. Is there anything flat? Okay, I could do that. Oh, actually, yeah, this <laughs> this surface will hold us. I was planning to slide down and jump across. Hmm. Well, that's problematic. I we I mean, I mean, I could just jump. I wonder if you retain your crystals after dying. Okay, I was able to grab onto the wall again. Ooh, we live. So further up, huh? I mean, that seems pretty doable. I will say that I'm like, I'm eager to share this with y'all, but also, I don't know if watching someone play over this is, or watching someone talk over playing this is necessarily the best 
skewing case because like part of what's part of the atmosphere here is the the sort of the loneliness and the desolation of it right so oh okay that was weird i couldn't grab onto that is there anything i can stop on up here i don't think so this looks very bad actually I appreciate that your stamina doesn't drain while you're not moving. You can just kind of like chill out for a second and figure out your plan. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, sliding off of this gave me a moment of stamina recovery. I wonder. Yeah, look at how much we got back. I can absolutely refill off of this. This is very doable. Well, I don't know about refill, but we we got more at least. We got morb. It was morbid time. I don't actually know if I'm going to be able to make this. Um, the jump seems very far away. Maybe the idea is that you drop down from above. Here, let's get up as high as it will let us. I'm going to have to jump real soon here. Oh, hey, we're above those platforms. All right, let's see. Nope, and that thing can't be, um... <clears throat> hmm. Well, I gotta be honest with you. I have no idea. I wonder if it's possible to get up above it. Let's, let's give it a shot here. Okay, that doesn't... I mean, that might be standable. Can I climb? Yes, we can climb this. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to make it, though. Maybe? Okay. And that's definitely a platform up there. Well, actually, it's a slope, isn't it? No, no, here it's here it's flat. Here it's flat. Okay. Oh, really? Interesting. That fall is not safe. Well, I mean, it's not like it would be a problem to get down onto that. I'm actually kind of curious. Does this have a top? No, it looks like this. Well... This butts up right up against the ceiling. Okay. Well, we did it. We reached the roof. I have no idea where I am right now relative to the crystal. Okay, letting go costs you such a large amount of stamina that strategically dropping and grabbing the wall again doesn't actually seem like a very good idea. So let me, um... Let me just climb down onto the pipe directly. We'll try to get ourselves an idea of where we are relative to that collectible. It may well be the case that dying after picking up a crystal doesn't reset the crystal. We might, we might be able to do that and just just eat the death. That's it down there, right? It's like the idea is... Oh, I have to let go from here. So if I... Okay, if I jump onto this... Oh, it didn't let me... It didn't let me grab it. Well, it does still say crystals found four of eight. And it spawned us right above where the crystal would be, so this will be a great chance to check. Okay, yes, it does keep the knowledge of the crystals. Okay, cool. Here, hold on. Let's let's reset our stamina. And I am kind of wondering that big slope that's up there. I'm wondering if we could use that to get onto these uh, these tubes or whatever they are and use those to get over there. All right, 
this worked last time, and I did it more clumsily last time, so... Fingers crossed. It sure doesn't look like it should work. It seems like such a distance. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, this gives us a safe place to play from. I guess, though, I don't want to use this slope. I want to use that slope, it looks like. The game is so... It could just give me that, right? That could be a, that could be a safe enough fall, I feel like. More games need to institute gimmies. Like the idea is we would jump onto that and then from there jump into the cradle of the next one. Oh, this isn't actually slippery. Hmm. Okay, well, we want to use the inclined parts of these tubes to slow ourselves in either case. Right, and then also we can we can jump off of them. I keep almost dying. We keep, we keep falling, like, just a tiny bit short of lethal. <clears throat> okay. Thing is, these are not actually scalable. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up on that. We've parted ways from Ken. He's going to try and find another route for our supply line, since the old one caved in. We're going to map the vents and explore the structure below us and see how far we can go. If you come across a distress signal, you need to stop the airflow before you can follow us down. Vent controls are nearby. Found ourselves a long distance communication device. Location tag failed biome. Distance 300 me uh, miles. Navigation instructions, find your way down the largest feed pipe past the small biome cluster. Vent controls are nearby. Canned food, I guess? Okay, it's all part of the same device. Not allowed to scan this turbine. Do these have... Nope, no scannables. Okay. How do we do that? I was really hoping there would be something of value on this side. The wall... Eh, maybe. Maybe we could do just do a jump off the wall? It seems like it's quite far from the wall, though. I think we'd have to be up really high, and as such, we would die in the attempt. Uh, you know what? Falling off of this pipe's incline might do it? Let's try to get up high so that I'm sure I can get on the correct slope of this thing. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Is there stuff over here? I mean, we may as well just jump around because I'm sure if I if I fall lethally, we'll just respawn up there anyway, right? And that's that's a tutorial marker, so this is definitely the actual right way. Um, so we missed a collectible back there, but I'm not confident we can get back. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just continue on. I really do like how much the areas feel like you're not supposed to be in them. <clears throat> That's not going to work. Actually, I almost got close enough to that wall to grab it. 
this side looks maybe a little better. I don't, yeah, I don't love either way, honestly. Fine, we're good. So I definitely need to, um, am I small enough to, nope. No, I am not. <clears throat> okay, do not jump, for sure do not jump. Yeah. Okay, this is doable. Um, hmm. I wish I could lean. I always feel like I need to see a little bit more. I bounced off of the pipe in a weird way. You think that falls safe? Probably not. There we go. Well, okay. That looks so rusty, and I know that that's not actually... It doesn't work like that. It's not like a rustier thing is more likely to fall. But it feels it feels very unsafe to drop down onto that. Oh, come on. Some objects are so cantankerous and bouncy. Both. Both at once. I'm kind of curious about that bridge over there. Like... In most games, I would be like, that bridge must be over there for a reason. There must be a collectible. And certainly this game has collectibles and everything, but I don't know. There's something about the way these spaces are built that makes it feel like a thing could just exist here and wouldn't necessarily have to have, like, a game justification, you know? Hmm. Well, no getting to that from here. Uh, there's something going on over there. I don't know. I think I'm going to try to just get back in the general direction of the mission. Although I don't know if this is actually a viable approach. This may not work. Now we're going to be okay, right? Kind of get kind of low and then do the jump and oh. Observer equipment that was installed to intercept the signal wires leading to the fan. The flashing button likely cuts the power. Well, all right, makes sense to me. Now we just have to get back up there. I feel about a lot better about approaching this by not hurling my body down onto it with tremendous force. I mean, I don't know exactly how heavy I am, but we're made of metal, right? Could be very heavy. I guess it really depends on what metal. How did I get down onto that? in the first place. Oh, you can't climb on to this at all. Okay, but that's a thing. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. Trying to get down off of the weird bracket. You know what? It's fine. Live on the weird bracket.
well now, ain't that something? I was starting to believe I'd die down here without seeing it again. But here it is. Okay, just a very normal uh, visual sensation that I'm experiencing. Hey. Hey, you hold on. Don't get sidetracked. Okay. The hell are you going? Alright, well, I guess we're moving in the right direction. Kind of hard to tell, though, honestly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Grab, grab, grab. Ah. Oh, shit. So... <laughs> a little overzealous there, I guess. So, you know, the pipe pits, it's... Uh, there are parts of it that are round, rounder than I would like. This is... feels very unsafe. Pretty hard to judge distance, actually, with with all that occurring. Oh, hey, we did it. If I hit save and continue, I imagine it's going to kick us back to the menu, right? Demo cleared. Okay, yeah. So that's what Lauren's Lure is all about. I am fascinated. I don't think I've played anything that is quite like this or that feels quite like this. The... You know, it's not eerie in the way that I expect something to jump out at me any moment, but there's something about the certainty I have that that's not going to happen, that in its way is kind of unsettling itself. I don't know. I'm I'm way into the atmosphere of this thing. All right, that is going to be where we call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, tomorrow, we're going to be checking out demos for some new stuff. And we'll see you then.